Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can launch the Chrome browser in a headless mode. In previous video of this course, we have already discussed one of the headless browser that is PhantomJS. Now with the new version of Chrome, you can launch the Chrome in a headless mode. And for this, there is a setting which you need to supply as a command line argument while launching the Chrome browser. That is the setting is headless. So as we know that if you want to launch the Chrome browser with the custom configuration or some command line argument, usually we use the cl class called Chrome option. So similar class or I'm going to use the same class for launching the Chrome in the headless mode. So inside our base class, we have a method called get Chrome option. And inside this, we will specify the necessary configuration which we need to have while launching the Chrome browser. So here again, I will use option dot add argument, which is used for adding the command line argument and the setting, which is this one. So this will make sure that the Chrome browser will be launched in a headless mode. And this feature is available in the new version of Chrome browser. So once this is done, I'm going to just rebuild the project and run the script that is test alert. So as you can see here, the execution is started, but in the UI, there is no Chrome browser as we have supplied the configuration, which will make it to launch in a headless mode. That means as a background process. So the only way to monitor the execution is via log file. So we have already integrated the log 4j with our script. So as you can see here, the execution is done. So the test is passed. And if I click on output, you can see here, these are the logs which are getting generated from a log 4 net. So whenever you are launching in a headless mode, the only way to track the execution is via log file.